Now let's understand the file structure we have here. We know that there is a package.json which is holding some dependencies but then we have a git ignore obviously we don't want the node module folder to be inside the git and that's why we have this uh, node module inside git ignore also when we build for the production then we also don't want to have the build part into the git repository also then after we don't want the environment variables to be inside the git repository that's why we have ignored it here then we have this public folder inside this public folder we have this index and we are actually familiar with the index remember in the previous videos when we have started with the react learning then we have added a index and inside we have added some script also we have created the div with the id of root now let's see here at the bottom on the line number 31 you can see we have a div with the id of root that's an amazing thing but we cannot find any script tag here no worries because react is going to push that script tag into this html how you can see here if you go and view the page source in this page source we can see we have this react app the title similar to this then we have a div with the id of root div with the id of root with a no script at the top just like this but at the bottom you can see we have this script which is having static js bundle.js also chunk.js and main.chunks.js so actually the bundle.js is the main file we need and all the react is inside that all the compiled react now since we know that how react is moving so we have some favicon some logo which is used here and then some manifest.json this is for the uh, progressive web app and we will talk about this later robot.txt for some seo purpose but the most important thing is this src directory and in this src directory the important file is the index.js remember we use react dom to actually render something inside our div with the id of root so we have used react dom dot render we have defined there is an app and this is for just for a strict mode of react and then we have the target which is the document dot get element by id of root and remember this root is inside in our index.js id of root that's an amazing thing so because of that we have everything here so if i now inspect this on this element you can see first we have a div with the id of root and then we have everything like div with the class of app header with the class of app header and then we have imported this app component remember we have created the component we know what is a functional component so let's see where it is so app is in the same directory with the name of app and we can find it app.js let's open this app.js and it is very very familiar because now we know it is a function with the name of app this means it is a functional component and yes you can see we have a div with the class name of app which is actually a class header with the class name of app.header app hyphen header that is all these things are showing here and at last we have exported it so that we can import it here and then we can use it like this so this is how actually the react application running in this project then we have some styling index.css but the most important thing you can see we are on javascript and we are importing css amazing thing that means react is able to uh, compile all the css also along with the js 
the JavaScript. So we have imported React, React DOM, CSS, this uh, app component, and some service provider. Once again, this is for progressive web app. We will talk about this later. So we also have the app.css, then some testing, app.test.js, then setting up the testing thing like this. And what I'm going to do to get started with the understanding of this project, I am going to actually delete everything. And yes, I'm going to delete everything. So now we will start from a fresh index.js. Let's see how we can get started with this.